You know what the fun thing is about motivation? Sometimes it comes from the most random things. Like the other day, I got some new running socks in. And this morning, I was so motivated to try them out that I just went on a run with my good running buddy, Chiro. Which has literally nothing to do with this video. I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you guys. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? My name is Mr. Delicious, and welcome to another quick stream tip video. Now, of course, in an earlier video, I already showed you my raid Polaroid effect that whenever someone comes in with a raid, I actually take a Polaroid photo of that exact moment and post it to my Discord so that at the end of the year, I can make a huge poster with all my raid Polaroids and actually relive all those amazing moments and basically thank everyone that came in and shared their community with me. Helicopter blades brewing. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Hey, street. we got a raid, look at that. <laughs> now, of course, if you followed that video, you could also recreate that effect yourself on your own streams. However, with me starting my coffee shop, I actually got into the habit of making more easy to use installers. And that's actually what I did the other day. I was sitting down and I was working on an easy to use installer for this effect. So you can actually install this yourself on your own streams very easily with just a few clicks. Now in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you use that effect, where you can find it and how you can customize it yourself. So you can use this effect on your own streams and then customize it. So it fits the exact way that you want it to. Now, of course, if these videos are helpful to you, please consider supporting the channel by leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and ring the bell so you get a notification whenever future videos go up. So let's waste no time. Let's dive right in so I can show you exactly how you can download, install and use this effect. Now, like I said before, all the things that you need for this effect to install it on your own streams are going to be available for free to download on my Kofi shop. Just head to the link down in the description below, go to the shop and there you will see the effect waiting for you to download. Again, totally for free or you can pay what you want if you like to support me in my content creation journey. So once you download everything, unpack your zip file, go to your Leon board folder, go to the receiver folder over here and then go to the EXT folder. And there you can actually unzip your zip file over there. The Raid Polaroid fo photo folder is the one that you're going to get once should do that and in there you can see all the files that we have and that we're going to need for this effect now in order to install this go to your leon board and again it's very simple just click on the install extension button over there select the extension file so we're going to do that it's going to be writing for us in this folder we just unpacked so we're going to click that we're going to select the transmitter as always it's just going to be that one over there you will see that things are going to start moving your deck is going to be added and then also down here you will see the new scene is being added now wait for things to happen and wait for some moves to be made and then you will see this pop-up telling you that you need to move some sources into a group so take all these four sources down here and move them into this group over there and once you've done that just simply click ok and it's going to do some more things and then once it is all done after a couple of seconds it will tell you that you are good to go and that everything will be installed. There we go. So the Mr. Delicious Raid Polaroid is now installed. And you can see you saw some moves in the background happening there as well. If those don't happen, uh, sometimes for some reason, if you click too fast or if you move those sources into a group too quickly, for whatever reason, sometimes these moves don't happen automatically. It's very simple to actually make that happen yourself. And you should do that as well. So just right click on this scene if that is the case. Click on filters and then... You see two filters over here. Just click on the off one first and then click on the on one and then everything will be in position exactly the way where it should be. Now, there's a few things that you need to change yourself before you can actually use this uh, properly. One thing that you need to do is first you need to add your webcam to this capture. So this is a scene mirror. And the way that this works is it takes any source that you already have and then it basically creates a copy of that that you can add new filters and such onto. I did make the source already. So all you have to do is just click that source capture webcam, select properties and then from the drop down list simply select your video capture device your webcam your um, face rig or virtual avatar whatever it is that you use to show yourself on your stream select that from this list and then you should should see it appear over here as well now something else that you should do before you got this working is you should actually right click on your capture webcam select filters and then turn off the freeze filter. If you don't do this, you will not see your webcam because it will be stuck and frozen. Uh, so you need to turn this off yourself before everything works. Now, you only have to do this after you install it once. After that, everything will be taken care of for you. But this is something that you just need to do once you install it for the very first time. And then lastly, something that I suggest you do as well. It's not necessary, but I find it very easy for me to actually know when things are happening. So go to your sound shutter source here. Click the I button and then quickly click on the cog wheel here and select advanced audio properties and then set your sound shutter to monitor and output and this is actually going to make it so that you actually hear 
the effect of the shutter yourself. So it's a little bit more of an audible indication for you that this effect is actually working. Again, it's not a complete necessity if you're, if you're okay with it, not being able to hear it yourself and just your stream hears it. That's also fine. You don't have to change it. I myself find it a little bit convenient when I actually hear things that are going on in my stream. Now, of course, one thing that you will see when this scene is set up, you will see your own name, of course, uh, listed here, and you will see a random day, January 1st, 2021. Those will all automatically update whenever someone actually comes in with a raid. These are just placeholders so that we actually have something to go with when we install the scene and that's basically it once you've done that that's all you have to do inside of obs now there's a few things that you need to do in the board as well so let's jump back over there so i can show you what those are all right so in the board you will see a new deck that's being added raid polaroid down here so open that and then there's a couple of things that you need to do the first thing is you want to go into the polaroid trigger button uh, click edit commands and then the one thing that you have to do is you need to scroll down here and you need to actually change this to your own intermission scene. What happens is that once a raid comes in, uh, OBS will automatically switch to your Polaroid scene. All the effects will start playing and it will take the Polaroid, post it to Discord and then after a couple of seconds after the Polaroid has been shown on screen, it will actually change back to your intermission screen. So you need to set your intermission scene yourself over here because of course I don't know what you named it. Set that up over here, that's the only thing that you need to change. Uh, once you've done that, click done. And then we need to go into the uh, Raid Polaroid Discord poster button. Now, these are also a couple of settings that you need to do yourself. Again, I can't do that for you. Uh, so just right click on that and edit commands. And most of these settings are pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go over them just in case you've never done this before. Um, you need to fill in some values here so things actually should be working. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your Discord, make a new channel or select a channel that you want to post these pictures to, and then you need to set up a webhook. I'll show you how you do that. This is my own Discord. This is my Raid Polaroid channel. As you can see, these are all the Polaroids that I've made on my own streams. The way that you set up the webhook is you go to your channel where you want to post the pictures, uh, click on the cogwheel over there, edit channel, and then go to integrations. And then you will see uh, webhooks over there. Now, for me, I already have one because I made one myself. Uh, so click on that and then make a new webhook. Once you've done that, you can add an avatar like I've done over here. You can give it a name like I have did here, and then you will see um, the channel where you are going to make it. And once you've done that, just click on copy webhook URL. Uh, it will copy the webhook URL, and that is the one that you're going to have to paste here in this box. So just do that. It's super simple. Make sure that you save everything. Um, but that's basically it. That's the way that you set that up and you make that webhook on Discord. If you don't know how to do that, or if you have any more questions about that, go to the Discord support forums, and there's a very detailed article about making webhooks on there as well. So that's the one thing. Then we need to set up the OBS uh, WebSockets URL. Now, most likely, this is just going to be um, the default. If you didn't change that yourself, you can just leave this blank. Uh, if it is 4444, the port that you use, uh, you can just leave this blank. But just in case, uh, you can go to your tools setting in OBS, select WebSockets server settings. And there you will see the server port. Now, again, if this is just 4444, you can leave the box in Leon board empty. Uh, but if it's something else for some reason, uh, you need to make sure that you actually set up uh, that port in uh, Leon board. Um, otherwise, it's not going to connect to OBS. Now, same thing goes for the next field in uh, Leon board is which is the password. Now, again, by default, this should be blank. Uh, but if you set up a password in your OBS WebSocket server settings, just copy that. Make sure that you see the password over here. Uh, copy that and type that in to the field right there and then you should be good to go. Now, the next field I already filled in for you. This is going to be the scene where the screenshot is being taken off uh, and then posted to your Discord. So don't have to change this. The last thing that you do need to add, though, is you need to make sure that um, where you want to post your screenshots, you need to make a folder for that or you need to, maybe you have a folder for that already. But you do need to set the address of the folder where you want your screenshots to be saved in this field. So just type in the address. Again, as an example here, it's just going to be C semicolon slash and then screenshot png and that's basically it if you've done all that uh, you don't need to change this i've turned this off so it's not going to take a chat message so you can just ignore this uh setting over here but once you've done that you can just click done and click done again and that's all that you have to do when you set up this effect in leo and board and obs now again it's a little bit more work than my previous installers where you can just install them and they are good to go but there's a few things that you just need to change that i couldn't set up for you like the webhook and like the path to the screenshot file but once you've set this all up this is exactly what it should look like when someone comes in with a raid Now, once you've installed everything and things look good in your OBS, that's basically all that you have to do. Now, of course, when you install this, the scene is pretty bare bones. You got a title and you got your 
Polaroid effect and that's basically it. There's no background, no nothing. So I highly suggest you customize this entire effect, add a background, maybe add some other effect, make it your own and make sure that it fits with the rest of the theme of your stream. And once you've installed everything, you want to test it out, of course. And what you can do, go to your TSL transmitter and then click the test raid button and then you will see the effect play out exactly the way that it should. And once that happens, you know that things are in working order and that everything is set up and ready to go for the next time you go live. And that's it. That's how you can use the raid Polaroid effect with the new easy to use installer. Now, as always, if you want to see this effect, yourself live in action. I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday over on Twitch, so you can find the link in the description there below. And when someone comes in with the raid, you will get to see the full effect of how I set it up on my own stream with the raid Polaroid. But when you decide to stop by, don't be shy and say hi, because I always love meeting new people and welcoming new members to our community. And if you have any questions or you need any help with setting this up, you can also go to my Discord. I have a special channel there for quick stream tip help, where I will try and do my best to guide you through the process of installing this and maybe even troubleshooting if you are running into any issues with setting this up yourself and of course you can also contact me on twitter and again i will do my best to try and help you over there as well now if you decide to make this effect yourself and add it to your stream i always love seeing what you guys are doing with it so if you've joined the discord please feel free to share your creation and the way that you make this effect look on your own stream in the showcase channel because i again i love seeing how you guys customize my effects for your own streams now that's it for me for today thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully it was helpful to you and as always if it was please consider supporting the channel by leaving a thumbs up subscribing to the channel and of course ring that bell so you know exactly when my next video goes live and for now the last thing that i want to say is that my name is mr delicious you are all extreme and delicious yourself as well take care good luck with this and happy streaming um i'm gonna do some art myself as well um i was thinking you know we're making like a long you know like this like a like a cucumber and then we add like you know it's gonna be like a bowl full of um and like a fruit bowl you know like a cucumber with two tomatoes to the side I don't know. You, you liked it? You liked it? <laughs>